everyone. Thank you for joining me once again. Uh, before we get started, why don't you go ahead and click that like button, that share button, okay? Go ahead and do that like right now for me, okay? So this book review is on the book called A Double Life by Flynn Berry. And this is what the book looks like. I was kind of drawn in by the cover of the book. I was like, hmm, that looks interesting. I wonder what that's about. This has been on my bookshelf for quite some time. So, I'm just now getting to it. <laughs> it is not a new release, okay? So, this is a story that crosses between Claire telling us about uh, her parents' relationship, her life, and the quest to find her father. Claire's father, Colin, came from a wealthy family and married her mother, Faye. After years of marriage, Claire's parents separated. Claire, her mother, Faye, and her brother, Robbie, and a nanny, Emma, lived together until one fatal night. A man had entered their home and killed Emma and injured Faye. Claire's father disappeared on the night of this incident and was believed to be the culprit. It was believed that Colin had intended to kill his estranged wife, Faye, but instead killed Emma, who had a physical likeness to Faye. Something about the incident doesn't sit well with Claire and has been a needle poking her all these years. Even after growing up and becoming a doctor, she just can't shake that something is not right about that fatal night. Law enforcement hasn't been able to find Colin all these years. The case of who killed Emma is still unsolved. The police still believe it was Colin who did it and believe his wealthy friends have assisted in keeping him hidden. Claire is unsure if Colin really killed Emma or was it someone else. Claire wants to know if her father didn't do it, why did he run away? And if he did do it, why did he do it? Through the years, Claire has held out hope that her father would be found and there would be some type of resolution and closure. Claire has made a good life for herself while her brother Robbie has become addicted to drugs and his life has been on a downward spiral. Claire feels guilty for Robbie's addiction due to being a doctor and not insisting on a different course of treatment after he obtained an injury. Things take a turn when a detective believes Colin has been spotted. This propels Claire to pick up her search for Colin and she begins on a quest to get the answers she has waited so long for. Now you'll have to read the book however to find out if Claire is successful in finding Colin. Will Claire get the closure she has desperately wanted? You'll have to read the book to find out. There are a couple of triggers. Um, there is death described in uh, medium level detail. Uh, there is addiction described also in the book. Um, this book doesn't provide any discussion questions. Some topics of discussion could be how far would you go to find who killed a person you cared for? If the killer was a family member, would you give them over to the authorities? The topic of medically prescribed drugs being addictive. The topic of classism playing a part in the judicial system. These are just a few. Uh, if you read the book, you might be able to pluck out some more topics. <laughs> but this is just to kind of get you started. 
Um, I did feel a little bit let down with the climax of the book. I felt that after all we went through, the climax was rushed and could have had a lot more detail given. Um, <laughs> without giving too much away, okay? I just feel that there could have been more depth and there just could have been more meat to the story. Um, I got the feeling that it just kind of left me hanging. Um, I mean, the lead up was good. Um, it could have had a little bit more detail, but I mean, it, it was a good lead up. And then it was like, Wait, that's it? <laughs> like, that's, that's it? That's all? Like, nothing else? <laughs> like, you're not going to dive into this a little bit further? Like, it was almost like, <laughs> what was the point? But, you'll have to read the book to kind of find out what I'm talking about. I'm so sorry, because I can't give you too much more else, I mean then I'd just give you the book away. And, and I don't want to give the book away. I, read it for yourself and see if you have a different perspective on this book or if you got something out of this book. Um, it just left me hanging. And I, I just thought the author could have did a better job of giving us a little bit more detail and the fact that we went through all of this for the lead up and it was just like okay <laughs> as a reader there were unanswered questions and it was like what happened so um i was able to get through the book in a couple of days um it's a very short um weekend type read um, even though I was a bit disappointed, I mean, it was a fairly good read, but I mean, I just, I just was disappointed. Um, I think it just could have been better. Um, it was a quick pace book because I wanted to know how things unfolded. And so I say high pace because I was, you know, turning the pages, trying to like see where all this was going to go. Um, it was not because of any high intensity. Uh, it was just simply, I was intrigued to find out, like, where is this going? Um, so, I do also classify it as a literary palate cleanser because um, it just kind of broke up what I had been reading. And um, I'll say this. I see why it has been on my bookshelf for a little while. <laughs> I'll put it that way. It's been on my bookshelf for a while. And after reading it, I was like, yeah, that's why you've been on the bookshelf. The title of the book, A Double Life, I don't even know where they got that. I, I don't. I don't know. Like I said, maybe, maybe you will have a different perspective or get something different out of it. But for me, I was like, a double life? Where's the double life? Like, I don't, I don't understand where they got that from. We, I mean, even the, the mother, the mother, the father, I mean, there's a whole lot of stuff you don't know about your parents. I don't think in this book, it did not come across as double life. Like what you would think of in terms of double life. It just, came across as she didn't know her parents as well as she may have thought she did. Um, obviously her father, because her father was gone um, for years. So obviously you don't know who he is. So I'm, I'm not real sure where the double life came into play, but maybe you should read it. <laughs> And maybe you can give me a clue as to why this was the title of the book. And then I thought, well, okay, well, is she leading the double life? And then I thought, well, no. <laughs> okay. I didn't get it. Okay. I did, I did not get it. 
Um, so you can read the book uh, and find out if you get it. <laughs> um, I give this book a 7 out of 10. Um, I've already given the reasons of, of, of what I think about the book. So... <laughs> I think the rating is appropriate. It, it could have used a little bit of work. But you know what's so crazy though? Because on the book, on the cover of this book, it says, breathtaking, as shocking as it is satisfying. And that's the New York Times book review. Who, 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 who gave that assessment? Like who specifically? at the New York Times gave that assessment because we are not on the same page <laughs> with that assessment obviously um and I read I, I, I read the book I didn't have um I didn't do like a audio book version I I, I really read I, I read the physical copy of the book so I don't know where the New York Times got that assessment um, it says that uh, Flynn Berry is an award-winning author of another book and I'm not a writer I'm not an editor I'm just a reader I'm just a regular Jane Joe uh, that likes to read books and I'm giving my personal opinion with no, you know, no other credentials behind it. Just, just regular old me. Which, you know what? I've come to find that people want the regular old me people to give their opinion of things because we get into a system where people give opinions because they're getting something out of it, you know? And I'm not getting anything out of giving these reviews. I, I ain't getting paid. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not getting anything. I'm not getting anything out of these reviews at this point. At this point, other than giving the review. So, anyway, we're gonna move on. Um, so, if you've read the book, you know, go ahead and tell me what you think. If you haven't read the book, you know, you can roll the dice and read it for yourself and let me know what you think um again don't forget to subscribe click like share it you know and well hopefully the next um book that is cracked open will um give me a, a little bit more to tell you about so until next time keep turning the pages my book lover